for joining us on to this wonderful segment this positive part as usual is where we come to educate you health wise to make sure that you learn one or two things concerning our health life and of course today we're tackling a very wonderful topic that is autism and also cerebral palsy and try to look what exactly causes this and maybe how we can be able to manage this condition and of course in our studio today we have very wonderful guests I have uh, two guests with me I have uh, Madam Beatrice Gitao who is the autism special education from uh, autism academy here in Thika and also we have uh, Jacinta Womboy who is a uh, cerebral palsy victim but of course she was able to overcome thank you very much of course for joining us yeah and uh, i think you can just try and start by explaining to us what exactly is autism because maybe many of people do not understand what is this condition by the name autism okay uh, to begin with, I need to introduce myself. I'm Beatrice Gitao, a special education teacher for a long time. And currently, I'm dealing with autistic children in Autism Academy located in Tika, Stare Estate, just bordering Tika High School. Yeah. Autism is a condition. And this condition is caused by a brain disorder. So the brain disorder occurs during the first three months when a child is in the womb, the first trimester, this is when the brain is being formed and this is when the brain disorder occurs. The actual cause is not known. Through research, they have not yet come with an actual cause. Mm -hmm. But generally, we say it is a brain disorder. Mm -hmm. It is mainly characterized, the characteristics that surround autism disorder mm -hmm. are, the first one is hyperactivity. Mm -hmm. So a child or a person with autism manifests hyperactivity. This means they're not able, they're not stable. A child lacks concentration span. They move from one place to the other and throwing things about. They also are characterized with lack of social skills. Yeah. You know, with a regular child, the child is wired in such a way they go through developmental milestones where they, they, they develop in every developmental milestone and they develop social skills. With autism, the child lacks social skills completely. You have to literally teach them greetings, etiquette, and all this that is concerned with social skills mm -hmm. because they are not wired with it. They also lack communication skills. The brain disorder characterizes, characterizes autism with lack of communication. They have no communication. Mm -hmm. But we have different types of autism here. I must mention we have classic autism, an autism disorder where they have no communication at all. But we also have Asperger's syndrome that is also part of autism yeah. where they have intelligence left in their brain and they've developed communication. And uh, <coughs> we also have attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, which is a type of autism. They also develop some communication. So not all of them lack communication, but a type of it, mm -hmm. that is autism condition. Mm -hmm. They also lack imagination. You know, a regular child is wired in such a way that when they grow, they have imagination. Yeah. They can initiate play. They can do role play, father and mother and others. But children with autism lack imagination. They cannot initiate play. They can do not do any role play, so we teach it to them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, do you have maybe uh, some uh, factors or maybe the way we can say are uh, some just cause of the, uh, this condition autism? According to research that has been carried out, mm -hmm. there is no known cause mm -hmm. to autism. Mm -hmm. No known cause at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it is just a biological condition exactly. that affects. Yeah, that causes a brain disorder mm -hmm. when the child is in the womb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no known cause. Okay. Yeah. And of course, now when it comes to cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. and uh, having one of our guests here, one boy who was one of the victims, and maybe 
you can just maybe try to explain to us, according to you, what I do you think happened to you that maybe brought about this condition in your life? Okay. Uh, my name is Jacinta Mboy. Mm -hmm. I was born with cerebral palsy, mm -hmm. uh, but Nikitu Mzazi Hakuja Kuelewa, Sabu, my mama Tuan Jamzitu, Alielezewa Kwamba Nikona Disability Kidogo, uh, Na Ikabidi Sasa Ambiwe Utabidi Asiende Nyumbani, Lakini Badada Ya Kumfanya Upasuaji, Mimi nilitoka na migu kwa sababu si kujipindua kama wale watoto wengine mm -hmm. so hiyo i think ku, kuvutwa sana ndio kuliniletea shida ya mikono mm -hmm. na kukaniletea mambo na ku kwa sababu ilikuwa difficult sana ku mm -hmm. nilitoka kama nimechoka mm -hmm. and then pia mzazi mwenye alikuwa ametoka nikizaliwa alikuwa pia amechoka na akienda ku, ku, kupata mtoto aliambia itabidi usign form mm -hmm. nyinyi wawili mnaweza pass ama mmoja a survive kwa hivyo nikija kuzaliwa ilikuwa sisi wawili tuende ama mmoja wetu a survive mm -hmm. but god alisaidia nilipotoka na migu mm -hmm. niliwekwa imidri kwa oxygen na pia akaiko kwa oxygen maana alikuwa amechoka mm -hmm. na ili take time mm -hmm. ku, ku, kusimama Mm -hmm. Sabu nilipozaliwa ilibidi nianze therapy nikiwa na two weeks mm -hmm. nikafanya therapy hapa Vika district nikafanya baka 3 years ikabidi sasa ni transfer iwe Kenyatta mm -hmm. nilikuwa nafungwa prasta after one week ina tolewa na kwa ingine after one week mm -hmm. sasa kwenda Kenyatta ndio hapo ni yule nikafikisha 5 years nikarecommendiwa niende Joita mm -hmm. but nilipoingia Joita msingeweza kujifanyia anything ama kuchukua kikombe ni kunywa maji ama kujifanyia kitu tulikuwa tunatumia house mother mm -hmm. so it take time kuja kusimama na kuja kutembea mm -hmm. sababu nilikuwa kati nimefika kitu 11 years naenda nikiguzwa tu na kitu kidogo tu naanguka mm -hmm. Sa ili bidi niende mo several operation. By the way, kama sijafikisha 15 years, nilikuwa nimeenda kama 20 operation. Mm -hmm. Zenye ni na GLM. So, kusimama kwangu hasa na kuacha kiatu ambo inaitua ni Karipaz. Mm -hmm. Niliacha nikiwa na 15 years. Ambapo nilienda kikui hospital. Daktari sasa kaniambia uneza tumia araba sozo. Wachane na Karipa. Na hapo ndio nilieza kutembea na nika jielewa. Na ili take time pia mimi kujielewa kwamba siezi vavi tu kama wale watoto wengine wa kawaida itabidi sasa nianze tu kidogo naenda na anguka hivyo hadi nika, nika simama na kujisaidi. Of course, thank you very much. And indeed we can see that right now you can stand and work. Mm -hmm. It's such a blessing. And maybe to explain <coughs> more on that. Yeah. Yeah, she's just said that uh, when she was born, uh, the way that she, the mother gave birth became as a challenge and maybe that is exactly what contributed more problems in her. How does it happen? Well, you know, a child is supposed to be born through a normal birth. Mm -hmm. Of course, the position of a normal birth, yeah. the head out first. Yeah. So in her case, the legs out first. Mm -hmm. So during a normal birth, the child will be born. There is a time span, of course, when the child engages and the child is out and has enough oxygen. But during a time when a mother has a prolonged labor birth, the child engages, lacks oxygen. So during this, that, this time before the child is out of the womb, the child lacks oxygen because they are like caught up in between. And this causes brain damage. Mm -hmm. And it is brain damage that causes cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. So cerebral palsy is known to be caused by brain damage during birth, lack of oxygen. Mm -hmm. It can be also after birth mm -hmm. when the brain is damaged, maybe through a fall or a hit. Mm -hmm. When the brain is damaged, then also cerebral palsy occurs. Mm -hmm. So this is the main cause of cerebral palsy during birth or after birth. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what exactly parts does cerebral palsy affect? So when, 
the child lacks oxygen and the brain is damaged, normally the part that is affected is the motor, mm -hmm. the one that deals with movement, muscles. Mm -hmm. So you will find that uh, a child will have weak muscles that not, do not grow normally, yeah. weak muscles of the jaws, so they cannot even speak, mm -hmm. because of course to speak you need movements of all the muscles. Also, mm -hmm. parts of the body, the limbs, the legs, the muscles don't grow normally, mm -hmm. so they are weak. The spinal cord, the neck muscles, they are weak. And so they do not have the normal body structure. Mm -hmm. So they are very weak. And this is why it is very important for early intervention. Like in her case, mm -hmm. she had early intervention. And that is what brought her to be what she is today. Yeah. But you find many parents, probably because of lack of knowledge, when the child has cerebral palsy, they are kept at home. Mm -hmm. They're not taken for therapy. Yeah. And so the muscles remain weak. Yeah. Communication, they don't develop any communication in good time. They're not able to move or walk or sit, mm -hmm. hold their neck in good time because of lack of therapy. Mm -hmm. So the main important thing here, because of the part that is affected, the motor, they're supposed to go through physiotherapy. Mm -hmm. and we recommend early intervention, mm -hmm. which brings best results, like in her case. Yeah. Today she can walk independently. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, maybe what exactly is the difference between now the autism and the cerebral palsy? As I said, autism is a brain disorder. Mm -hmm. During the formation of the brain, mm -hmm. there is a disorder. You know, the brain has different parts that regulate different departments of the brain. A part that will deal with social skills, a part that will deal with communication, mm -hmm. imagination, intelligence. So when there is a disorder, all these parts are affected. Mm -hmm. And with cerebral palsy, a child is formed normally, the brain is intact, but it is only damaged during that process. Mm -hmm. And so, and the only part that normally, in most cases, is destroyed is the part that deals with motor. Mm -hmm. So the rest of the parts are left and they, through physiotherapy, occupational therapy, they can be regained. Mm -hmm. So that is the main difference. This is a disorder that is there, a condition that is there. Mm -hmm. The brain has a disorder. Mm -hmm. This is a, a brain that damage occurs and maybe parts of that brain can be restored back. Mm -hmm through physiotherapy, occupational therapy. Mm -hmm. That is the main difference, mm -hmm. yeah. And of course now when it comes to autism, it does affect different children yeah. and maybe brings out different characters. Yeah. And uh, how does that happen now? How do you deal with each child with their own condition? You realize mm -hmm. that with autism, every child is unique. They manifest the different characteristics differently. Mm -hmm. This one may have a characteristic, a stereotype behavior that another one does not have. Mm -hmm. So each one of them manifests differently. And so we cannot use a general program to teach all the children together. Yeah. We have what we call an individualized education program. Mm -hmm. Each child, we assess each child and come up with objectives for every child mm -hmm. depending on their condition. They are all quite different and unique. Mm -hmm. So we use individualized education program for every child. So we teach them individually. Mm -hmm. And which means it requires a lot of personnel. Yeah. We have teachers, teacher aides, mm -hmm. occupational therapists to deal with this one child. The occupational therapist deals with speech therapy. Mm -hmm. They do speech therapy to strengthen the muscles so that at one point of time, mm -hmm. the child may be able to develop speech. Yeah. But of course, it's, uh, we assess first and know what activities to engage the child in. Yeah. Yes. Okay, now that's a very good. And now that brings us to our break. We're just going for a short break, but you're coming right now. Stay tuned. TV. This is 
positive pulse and we're still talking about our topic autism and cerebral palsy and of course we've just spoke about different characters that will be manifested in different children so different children with autism will always come with different characters and of course now and because they all have different characters and behaviors they those who will show the negative uh, behaviors and some kind of stereotype explain them twice yeah normally autism is characterized by stereotype behaviors mm -hmm. and some negative behaviors so you'll find each child will manifest differently this child may have these characteristics the other one may manifest with different characteristics for example we may have a child who rocks okay to and fro you may have a child flipping his fingers you may have a child knocking his head against a wall or against a desk you may have a child pinching biting others these are some of the characteristics that you will manifest with children with autism mm -hmm. or they may have a negative behavior mm -hmm. they are rebellious sometimes they don't want to follow instructions and normally it's really difficult but in our program or in school mm -hmm. we list down every characteristic with a child and a negative behavior mm -hmm. and then we use what we refer to as applied behavior analysis when we list down the behaviors, we deal with a behavior one at a time in every child. So what we do, we engage these children with activities. Normally we give them different teaching, learning materials. And we want to see in which one they are interested in. So when you find they are interested in certain activities and certain materials, of course they have to be colorful and nice. So we engage them in certain activities, for example, building blocks. We use pebbles where they put in a pegboard, remove them. These ones uh, prepare them for eye-hand coordination. Mm -hmm. Remember I said they do not go through normal developmental milestones. Yeah. And therefore, it is not you know, automatic that they have fine motor skills. We have to teach them. Yeah. It is not automatic that they have eye-hand coordi coordination. Mm -hmm. Some of them uh, may, may, have, may, may have even uh, what we call, mm -hmm. they may not be able to look at you straight on the eye. And so we have to develop all these positive behaviors by engaging them in activities. We also have to build what we call a concentration span. Remember I said, a major characteristic with autism is hyperactivity, where they move here and there, throwing things here and there. And so during building, when we build a concentration span, then they are able to be still. We start some, somewhere like five seconds. Mm -hmm. It builds to 10 minutes, 20, and then they're able to see it and we're able to learn. So during this time when they have a concentration span, mm -hmm you know, that we have already built, mm -hmm. we engage them in positive behaviors, mm -hmm. the activities they love to do. So when we engage them in a positive behavior, mm -hmm. automatically the negative behavior goes down. Mm -hmm. And slowly by slowly it is eradicated. So a lot of the negative behaviors built up because of the children being idle. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes the parent is not able you know, to know how to engage the child. So they can keep on rocking from morning to evening. Mm -hmm. They can keep on flapping their fingers. They can keep on knocking their heads against the wall. But when you engage them in positive behaviors, yeah. during this time you're engaging them, and you have built a conducive, friendly atmosphere, you'll find the negative behaviors, the, uh, the stereotype behaviors, eradicated mm -hmm. yeah and now that's the way of managing the negative that behavior. is a way of managing the student with autism mm -hmm. and it works you come mm -hmm. find them in class mm -hmm. not moving about and get in activities they love to do yeah yeah slowly by slowly slowly by slowly okay some of them may also have mm -hmm. what we call a servant skill or a gifting in them. Mm -hmm. So as we teach the student, we also try to identify, do they have a gift? Mm -hmm. 
when we realize that they have a gift, for example, they may have a gift in computer skills. Yeah. We engage them, we teach them programs using the computer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they are good. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yes. And of course, now coming to Wamboi, you're telling us that uh, it took you 15 years for you before you could now work on your own. What exactly, maybe the therapies that we are going on by then? Mm. I think I went thrice a week. And I was able to get to find a therapy. Although I was able to discover that I was able to get to my back. I was able to get to my back straight because I was able to discover my pain. So I was able to get to my back because I was able to get to my back. I was able to get to my back and I was able to get to my back. Uh, nilikuwa natumia hapa hivi kwa nguku kanyanga mm -hmm. so kuletwa ikuwe normal yeah. li take therapy mm -hmm. na seven operation mm -hmm. so naweza sema especially uh, kama haujaelewa your condition ama kama mzazi hajaelewa nini kinasababisha mtoto wake kwa sababu Kenya huwa na understand wazazi wengine hawaelewi condition ya watoto unaweza kuwa uko na autism mm -hmm. mtu anasema uko na demons yeah. unaweza kuwa uko na CP mm -hmm. unaambiwa ni kwenye wenda uangalie kwenye hakuna watu kama hiyo mm -hmm. for example kama mimi nikizaliwa mm -hmm. mama ya dad mm -hmm. alisema kwetu hakuna hii product mm -hmm. hii product maybe rudi kwenye uangalie kama kuna hii mm -hmm. uh, yani in short ukizaliwa ukiwa na condition yoyote ya mtu ambaye yako na disability wengi mm -hmm. wanaona hii ni kas mm -hmm. ama kuna uchawi ama kwenye kuna maneno mbaya mm -hmm. lakini my dad alinipenda that way nimesema parental love mm -hmm. alinipenda juma imam hakuwa job yeah. my dad alikuwa job mm -hmm. na i think parental love ndio inatuma mimi nikuwe vile niko mm -hmm. so wana encourage mostly wazazi uh, wapeleke watoto special school sababu kama mimi kuna time nilipelekwa high school shule nomo ya watu wa kawaida lakini unapata ikifika ni merit mwalimu hezi nipatia punishment mm -hmm. ni kwa sababu anaona saa huyu mtamchapa wapi yeah. unaona mm -hmm. anaona yani wewe ni kama mayai mm -hmm. hufai kuchapa mali popote ikikam ni exam wanaona kama uko na exam yako wewe special unaona mm -hmm. Lakini ukipeleka mtu shule za watoto ambao wako na special need unapata mwalimu anakubeba kama wale wengine normal. Yeah. Kama ukikosea unachapwa. Mm -hmm. Unapewa punishment. Una group kijua kumbe hata mimi naweza chapwa. Mm -hmm. Kumbe hata mimi naweza enda therapy. Mm -hmm. Lakini shule normal hakuna therapy. Mm -hmm. Hakuna special teacher. Mm -hmm. So unapata badala ya kuperform mm -hmm. umerudi nyuma. Yeah. So mimi naweza sema Joy Town ama uh, shule yenye mwalimu ameanzisha mm -hmm. inaweza saidia wazazi wengi kujielewa mm -hmm. na waelewe ni nini mzuri kwa watoto. Mm -hmm. Sababu like me, mimi ni artist wa gospel. Yeah. You know, my dad mm -hmm. discover nikiwa Joy Town. Yeah. Sababu Joy Town tumeibia moyo. Mm -hmm. Tumefanya mambo mingi sana. Mm -hmm ndio unakaa ku discover hata kama mtoto wangu ako na autism mm -hmm. kumbe ako na taranta mm -hmm. yeah. umeelewa mm -hmm. na hakuna kitu mzuri ku discover mtoto wako ako na taranta gani and, and now to mwalimu mm -hmm. do you think that this condition autism or cerebral palsy there's a time maybe somebody can say uh, that I'll take my child to this hospital or to this facility and be assured that he or she will get healed instantly or maybe with time? According to the explanation, like we said, autism, a brain disorder, mm -hmm. where the child, as the child was being formed, the brain had a disorder. Cerebral palsy, brain damage. So we call them conditions. Mm -hmm. They are not diseases. Of course, I'm not a medical doctor, but yeah. a doctor Mm -hmm. Of course, we'll mm -hmm. confirm this, that they are not yeah. diseases. Mm -hmm. Where you say we are going to give this medicine to treat the brain disorder. Yeah. They are normally managed. 
That is where they're supposed to be in a program. Mm -hmm. Go through physiotherapy. Mm -hmm. Manage mm -hmm. the weak muscles. Mm -hmm. If it is autism, they have the stereotype behaviors, condition, because a habit, or a habit is normally formed. Yeah. The same way it is formed, you can undo it. Mm -hmm. So we do this by undoing, destructing the behavior from the brain. Yeah. If they are rocky, mm -hmm. yes, yeah. we have activities that will engage them in to distract that behavior. In most cases, probably they are rocking and moving to and fro. They are idle at home. Yeah. But when we engage them in various activities, mm -hmm. Normally you distract that behavior by engaging them in a positive behavior. Mm -hmm. You distract the negative behavior. Mm -hmm. So by and by it is eradicated. Mm -hmm. So we can say that these are conditions that can be managed. Mm -hmm. They are manageable. Mm -hmm. Yes, and at the end of the program after we have engaged them in activities, normally we, I said we have individualized education program. Yeah. We do basic academic skills. Mm -hmm. We assess the strength of the brain. To what level can they do the academics? For example, the attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, a type of autism, and Asperger's syndrome, that type of autism, how intelligence they can learn mm -hmm. to read, to write, mm -hmm. mathematics. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So when we assess the different type, the kind of autism they have, mm -hmm. we engage them in the right mm -hmm. learning materials. Mm -hmm. They can go far. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is different is that they are not able to go through the school normal curriculum. Mm -hmm. Because you find there are areas where they cannot actually get the concepts. Yeah. But there are areas where they can easily understand the concepts that are taught. Mm -hmm. So we have selected concepts where they can learn. Mm -hmm. We direct them towards vocational training. Mm -hmm. The end of the program I said this is their university, mm -hmm. the highest they can reach. Yeah. They will do vocational training. Engage in an income generating activity. Now they will not be dependent on the society or on their relatives. Mm -hmm. They can earn a living. Mm -hmm. This will be the end of our program. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice one. And now, away from now, the physiological the activities that you do engage them maybe in a way of maybe trying and help them yes. not to regain. Yeah. Do you have maybe other activities that we also as normal people we do engage into oh, that you, yes. you normally take them so that they can also regain? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. We realize when a parent has a child with these conditions, autism or cerebral palsy, yeah. they are overwhelmed. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. When they are going out, mm -hmm. if it is a child with the cerebral palsy, they are on a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Probably they have no means. Yeah. Or it is a child with autism, they are hyperactive here and there. Mm -hmm. They are overwhelmed. So in most cases, mm -hmm. the children are left at home with a caretaker. Mm -hmm. So when they come to school, we understand. So what we do, we try to give them exposure. Yeah. Sometimes we take them to a supermarket mm -hmm. in small groups. Yeah. When you go through the supermarket, we tell them, don't touch this, don't touch this. Mm -hmm. So that they are exposed. Yeah. So that when they go home with a parent to a supermarket, they will not go through it things here and there. Mm -hmm. We take them out mm -hmm. for swimming in a swimming pool yeah. where we go with them in the water and they swim. Mm -hmm. We take them out in facilities where we have uh, we have the bouncy castles, you know, yeah. where the parents are not able to take them. Yeah. They play like other regular children mm -hmm. and they enjoy themselves. So that the time they go out with their parents, they're already exposed. Mm -hmm. Yes, we go out for activities. Like recently, we had an activity in Jamuhuri Park where all schools with children with special needs, it was organized by Rotary. Yeah. We took our children there mm -hmm. and they enjoyed themselves, interacting with everybody, mm -hmm. music, dancing. Yeah, so normally we do give them exposure. Mm -hmm. yes. And now that also gives them part of healing. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. It's also a therapy. Mm -hmm. Water is a therapy. Yeah. Playing in those facilities, bouncing castles, mm -hmm. is a therapy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. 
That's a very nice and a very wonderful topic. Now, I would want you now to speak to that parent who feels maybe, no, my kid has this condition, I don't need to expose them. And maybe there is something that you can say that maybe will touch this parent and see it is possible that I will take my child to that school so that they will also regain, give them hope. Oh yes, dear parent, mm -hmm. I come to you. I know some of the things you go through and especially stigma. When you have a child with autism or cerebral palsy, your neighbors, your relatives don't understand. You are stigmatized and you tend to hide the child. I urge you, take your child out. Your child can go to school. Your child has only challenges. These challenges can be overcome. As I explained, we can overcome them in school. And your child can go through a program where one day they will become somebody who is important in the society and not be dependent on you, but they will be dependent on themselves because they can learn a skill and earn a living. Mm -hmm. Bring your child out, bring them to school. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, homeboy. Tell them something. You are also a victim and now you can walk again and you are aiming higher. Okay, i Kitu ya maana ni masomo. Sababu kama mimi singepelekwa shule, saa hii singekuwa pale nimefika. Ya pili, a discover talent ya mtoto. Sababu hata mimi ni msanii pia talent nimefikisha pale. Ya tatu community itukubali vile tuko. Tusifike mahali tunapata tunatengwa. Na pia ningependa kuangazia kwa government. Sababu tukiambio Five percentage ya job ya wale mavu. Haitufiki even tenders. Ningependa kuambia pia government juu ya pia sisi tumesoma. We need those jobs. Na pia nikiangazia sana hatuna CS ambaya na deal na person living with a disability. So ningependa kuambia watu squeeze wajue everybody is a candidate to disability. Si kama vile sisi tulizaliwa nayo inapata kila mtu. Mm -hmm. So watushike vile tulivyo na pia churches zitukubali vile tulivyo. Na mzazi pale usifiche mtoto. Maana tumekuwa tukificha, tukifichua wengi ambao wamefichwa mkubali. You never know atakuwa nani. So kama mimi ningefichwa singekuwa Queen of Disability East Africa. Mm -hmm. Kwa sasa na learn Queen of Disability World. So mfichwe tapata maybe a near to rescue family. Mm -hmm. A very wonderful and a very powerful encouragement to parents there at home. Thank you very much of course our dear viewers for keeping it Focus TV. This has been Positive Pals. I am Miriam Mwangi. Till we meet again by next week. God's grace. Goodbye. Thank you.